Hi guys, it's been a while since I posted my last video. I've just been a little bit busy. However, today I do have some free time. So I thought it would be a good idea to show you how to make my chewy brownie. So you'll need dark chocolate and milk chocolate, um, 100 grams each, a cup of sugar here, two eggs, or two thirds cup of flour, pinch of salt, teaspoon of vanilla extract, some lukewarm water there, one tablespoon of cocoa powder unsweetened, 145 grams of butter, I've cut them into cubes, and this needs to be room temperature, not melty. It should be like that. So this is the key to this recipe. So we're gonna start off by melting our chocolate. Then I'm gonna pop dark chocolate. And I'm just gonna wait for that to melt. Chocolate is now slowly melting. I'm just stirring this to make sure nothing gets stuck to the bottom of the dish. I'm just gonna remove it from this pan. Okay, so while we're waiting for the chocolate to cool down, what we're gonna do is add the sugar to the butter. Hold it. And we're just gonna mix it. Give it a press. Like I said, it just needs to be quite clumpy and I think that's what makes it chewy. Just press the butter right into the sugar. So if this starts to um, become liquid, uh, the butter is not solid enough. We need the texture to become crummy. So it's gonna look like that. It should be quite solid like that, okay? So we're gonna start off by adding liquid ingredients first. So we're gonna add eggs, so two medium to large eggs. Just pop it in there. You can still see the clumps of the butter and sugar in the eggs right there. So it doesn't need to be smooth. Now we're gonna add vanilla extract, so one teaspoon of that, and then one tablespoon of lukewarm water. So it's like that. The last liquid ingredient is our chocolate. Try to get all the bits of sugar. It's up to you, you can stir it until it's completely smooth, but I just leave it like that. Okay, now we're gonna add the dry ingredients. So we're gonna add the salt, then the cocoa powder. So the last thing is flour. That looks good to me. So slightly sticky there. So we're just gonna preheat the oven at 175. Now we're gonna move on to greasing our baking tin or baking dish, whatever you're gonna use. I've always used this glass container and it always comes out really nice. So I will just stick to that. Make sure you grease all the corners slightly a little bit more so the brownie doesn't stick there. Just put the batter into the baking container. That should all fall up quite easy. I mean, I guess this is why it's so chewy. Look at the look at the batter. It's just holding its form. Once you pop it in the oven, it's just going to kind of flatten down and then level. So just kind of push the batter around a little bit. Like I said, once you pop this in the oven, it should just level out flat and it will just be quite even. So now we're gonna pop this into the oven for 35 to 45 minutes. 
I usually check after every 35 minutes by putting a toothpick through the center. If nothing comes out, then it means it's cooked. So I'm just gonna pop this in the oven. Set at 175 degrees. The house smells amazing. Within 35 minutes, I've taken my brownie out, tested it, and it looks like it's all good. I'm just gonna leave it to cool down a little bit. This was this recipe. It always has like cracked top. The edges are like always extra chewy. After it's cooled down, I cut them into pieces, pop them in the Tupperware, put them in the fridge, and then the next day they're just like to die for. So try it out. It's so moist inside. Can see that and um, the edges are the best bit this is the best bit